yeah, more than likely I'm gonna get kicked out of here shortly. Good morning from Bangkok, Thailand. And right now we're rolling to the train cemetery in Bang Su. I just found this place the other day looking online and it looks pretty interesting. So let's go look at some old trains and see what else we can find today. Cup and cup. Well, I think I found the train station or the train yard. I'm not sure I'm gonna get in there to be honest with you because it's completely fenced off, but we'll find a way. Well, walking along railroad tracks is never a good idea, but I think the train on this track next to me are going that way, so I should be okay. We'll find out. I would say the more than likely I'm going to get kicked out of here shortly, but uh, you know, sometimes it's better to beg for forgiveness than ask for permission, so we'll see. I'm not going to be climbing any fences or breaking into any buildings. That's definitely not my style. Now let's see how this day of urban exploration goes and uh, again, let's see if I'm allowed to come in here or not, but I think I found a way in. Quite a few choices behind me of things to check out but let's start with this engine first this looks really cool uh other than the tetanus factor so i gotta be careful with that this old boy has seen better days but yikes let's take a look inside let's see if i can climb in here without uh completely killing myself This is quite fascinating here. I, I don't know why, but I didn't expect to see a steering wheel in a train. I'm not really sure. What do you steer? It's on tracks. I don't know. If any of you train aficionados out there know why there would be a steering wheel in a train, let me know. Very interesting. And it's very warm in here. All right, let's continue on. I would assume that this was some kind of a uh, diesel power plant here. Not really sure what model train this is, but I'm guessing it's an electro diesel of some sort. Okay, now this car looks pretty new. Um, this thing looks like it's maybe 30 years old at most. Let's go inside and take a look. Oh, there's a little, little doggo here. I'm not sure if he's friendly, if he's gonna bite me. What's gonna happen here? Let's stay away from him, just in case. All right, let's go inside and check this coach car out. I think this is a sleeper coach car. I'm not really sure, but let's take a quick look. Oh yeah. We've got seats in here, obviously, and up here we've got a bed. And I also believe that the bottom here turns into a bed. This is partially converted into a bed. Let's hope nobody hooks this thing up and starts yeah. moving while I'm in it. Well, I'm definitely planning to take a train from Chiang Mai back to Bangkok after I fly out there for one of my trips. And I think this is the second class car. I'm not really sure, but definitely looking forward to it. And I just realized that I walked right by the sleeping dog. It's a good thing that uh, he was friendly and didn't bite my ankles. I don't think he cares. He's just chilling. A yeah, little sink area, bathrooms, kitchen, galley, toilet. I don't even know if I want to open this. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, let's not. And a million dollar view out the back. All right, let's continue on and see where else I can get into here without falling into the water. Other cars here look like freight cars, but they're locked. Part of a drivetrain here, maybe a transmission. 
Yeah, I'm gonna stay out of there. Way too rusty, way too rusty. Damn, just look at the size of those cylinder heads. That is giant. Holy crap, this is a giant V12. And when I say giant, I mean, those of you that know engines, this is the pistons in here, and there's, there's, there's my fist. Absolutely gigantic. Holy crap. Definitely not a place you want to come wearing sandals. Okay, I gotta be really careful because there's definitely some soy dogs wandering around here. And I like animals, I'm not afraid of dogs, but I just don't want to risk getting bit. So I gotta keep my eyes open here. Speaking of dogs, there's one right there. And there's my other buddy hiding over there. So I'm going to leave them alone. Just ran into the security guard here and he let me walk right through. And although I didn't have to, I gave him 40 Thai bot just because he could have just kicked me out of here, but he was really nice. Some of you guys might be wondering, Serge, what the hell are you doing wandering through an abandoned train cemetery graveyard? Well, I, I don't know. I like trains. I've liked trains since I was a kid. Uh, I'm not a train aficionado, but uh, I do enjoy them. Actually, one of my, well, my most popular video is my Amtrak train video. I'll link it up right here. If you're interested in trains, go check it out after you watch this. We've got some kind of a huge crane here. Interesting. And I just noticed that one of the street dogs is following me. Maybe he thinks I have food. I don't. Because if I did, I would eat it myself right now because I'm rather hungry. Well, here's another car. Let's go inside and see what's in this one. Let's see if it's unlocked. Let's see if we can slide this door open. Uh, no, I think it's locked from the inside. Interesting. Let's try another one. Yeah, looks like they're locked. Actually, this looks like where some of the workers are sleeping. They've got their personal stuff in here. Okay, I don't want to disturb these guys' homes. I actually came prepared this time. Yeah, I brought my own water. So you don't have to endure another uh, trip to 7-Eleven with Surge. <laughs> the one thing I didn't bring, which I should start carrying around, is hand sanitizer. That was not too bright. All right. Let's continue on and see what else we can find here. It's not a very big place. There's just a bunch of different train cars here. There's passenger cars, there's freight cars. Uh, we've got a bunch of locomotives and it's not a huge place. There's probably about only 20, maybe 30 different train cars and pieces of railroad equipment here. But it's kind of interesting to come take a look, especially if you're interested in railroad stuff and you like to find the more kind of obscure things or you like to go urban exploring. This might be a place for you. Well, I have just been officially told by the security guard that uh, I need to walk out of here. So I'm doing that. I'm going to leave. Obviously, somebody called him and told him to get rid of me. So I'm not going to force that. Okay, so this place isn't exactly amazing, but it's still interesting enough to come check it out. I'm glad I made it down here. I think I'm pretty much reaching uh, the end of what I can see here and what I can show you guys. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have. Please don't forget to check out some of the other videos I'm going to throw up above. Share this video with a friend, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe. And guys, as always, until next time, please take care of yourselves.